Managing weeds in your newly planted streamside buffer is an important part of growing a great buffer. This video will help you identify some noxious weeds that you may encounter. This is mile a minute vine. It's just one example of an invasive plant species that will be competition for your buffer's newly planted trees and shrubs. This vine and other weeds also spread and outcompete important native habitat resources and they can provide shelter for voles and other tree-killing inhabitants. While all weeds, like this giant hogweed, should be managed, there are some weeds that must be managed. Noxious weeds are regulated plants that you should become familiar with so that you can make sure they are not growing in your buffer. Goat's rue is an example of a noxious weed you might encounter in your buffer. A noxious weed is any plant designated by federal, state, or local government officials as injurious to public health, agriculture, recreation, wildlife, or property. Once a weed is classified as a noxious weed, authorities can implement quarantines or take other actions to contain or destroy the plant and limit its spread. The process for listing and delisting plants as federal noxious weeds is well-defined and implemented through the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service. There are currently over 100 weeds on the federal noxious weed list, like this kudzu. Most states also maintain their own state-level lists of noxious weeds. In Pennsylvania, noxious weeds are placed in one of three classes, A, B, or C, based on their spread, and their eradication potential. This Canada thistle is classified as a class B noxious weed. Class A noxious weeds, like this Palmer amaranth, are established in Pennsylvania, but geographically limited, so there is potential for them to be eradicated. Class B noxious weeds are widely established in Pennsylvania and cannot feasibly be eradicated. Class C noxious weeds are those listed on the federal noxious weed list that don't exist in Pennsylvania yet, but pose a threat to be introduced into the state. Poison hemlock and other noxious weeds are controlled by a number of laws and regulations. These laws are necessary to protect crops, livestock, agricultural land, and other property, including forest land and bodies of water. The Pennsylvania Controlled Plants and Noxious Weeds Law allows for the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture to issue control orders on noxious weeds, like this small broom rape. These orders require a person to implement treatment measures for noxious weeds. In addition, when buffers are planted as part of a Chapter 102 Erosion and Sediment Control Plan, the PA code specifies that noxious weeds and invasive species, like these Japanese hops, shall be removed and controlled to the extent possible. It's a violation of these laws to distribute, cultivate, or propagate any noxious weed in Pennsylvania. This shatter cane, when uncontrolled, will spread when its seeds are carried on the wind. Municipalities have the authority to act to control noxious weeds on a non-complying person's property and then seek to recover any expenses and costs they incur doing so. There are many Class B noxious weeds that you might find in Pennsylvania streamside buffers. Weeds like purple loosestrife, shatter cane, poison hemlock, tree of heaven, Japanese giant and bohemian knotweeds, Japanese angelica tree, Japanese hops, oriental bittersweet, black and pale swallow warts, and mugwort are widely distributed across the Commonwealth, and they're unlikely to be eradicated from the state but they still need to be controlled in your buffer to prevent them from becoming harmful on nearby lands. The Class A noxious weeds that you are most likely to encounter in your streamside buffer include giant hogweed, goat's rue, kudzu, palmer amaranth, water hemp and tall water hemp, animated oat, dotter, broom rape, and wavy leaf basket grass. Right now, these weeds are geographically limited in Pennsylvania, but they pose a great risk of spreading to more of the state. They are targeted for eradication, and they are a high priority for you to manage if they occur in your buffer. There is currently only one plant species listed as a Class C noxious weed in Pennsylvania. Water soldier is a submerged aquatic plant most frequently found in ponds, and it's not likely to occur in your streamside buffer. 
you can find the most complete and most up-to-date list of PA noxious species on the PA Department of Agriculture website. For vegetation control strategies to help you manage these noxious and other weeds in your streamside planning, you can find a full series of buffer maintenance videos and fact sheets on the Penn State Extension website. Just search for Growing Great Buffers.